My name is uh, Nils Svane. I'm born and raised in Denmark and I am 26 years of age and I'm studying architectural technology and construction management. I'm working in an engineering firm, so working with uh, solar energy. So it's something uh, a bit different from my current education in Denmark, but so far so good. I've been hearing a lot of great stories about Australia from just my friends and family members back home. I haven't really been traveling that much before, so I just knew that it would be a great experience just to get as far as I could from, from my normal surroundings back home. I had to, to do a six month internship just to get my degree. So I just wanted to learn as much as possible um, in the engineering field and also a bit about you know, management. And also I just wanted to you know, try to work in an international firm just to see how that whole process is. So the steps I had to go through to get an internship was actually pretty easy. I applied to this organization and the organization helped me with you know, every steps along the way. I had some questions uh, regarding the interview and, and regarding you know, living abroad. And all of these little steps, it meant a lot to me to get them uh, you know, answered correctly. Why I use an organization, studying the degree I, I am, it's not really that common that you travel abroad to do your internship. So I kind of knew that I, I needed some help. So my first day was amazing. I got on a, on a tour, I had to meet every single one of the employees at the firm and all the other interns. We did like this small meet and greet, which for me was just really amazing because I kind of felt that the people in the firm wanted to get to know me. The firm has so much uh, knowledge, uh, the know-how on how to manage the interns. The engineers here in this firm are really happy to just you know, take that time and to help guiding you through every single step that you need. The company treats me really, really good. The Australian people are so friendly and so warm. I wake up every single day looking forward to, to go to work. So my best advice for someone to travel to Australia would be to be as open-minded as possible, to jump out on solo adventures, and to try to see if you can find some Facebook groups. It's kind of to get a network going on.